Hello. Okay, so now I get to show you how the transfer stacks work. I'm going to do two videos. This one will show you how the transfer stacks work for the connexes, and then I'll show you with the logs. I got shouted at because, like a typical techie guy, I don't read the manual. So I will say that you should read the manual before you do any of this, just to make sure you understand how it works. Uh, I'm, I've read the manual, <laughs> so I know how it's working, and let's just hope that I can remember that what I read. But it's real simple, it's not hard. So basically at the moment, I'm just parked in front of a stack here. There are two stacks here, each sign represents a stack. There's a stack on the left with the foobar crates, there's the stack on the right with no crates. I'm gonna load up the foobar crates, and I'm gonna take the foobar crates over to um, Morning Wood, which is just over the road, just to demonstrate that I can take this cargo and quite literally deliver it to another place. So the first thing you need to do is in this case, well, there's two ways. Let me just tell you there's two ways. You can either play GTFO and use GTFO to load them, or you don't have to play GTFO. If you just want to load and unload cargo, you can use the built-in loading menu that's built into the truck that allows you to load and unload cargo. So first thing to do is I'm going to do it in GTFO. So because this, this basically when you click on the sign, you get about a minute uh, to perform the loading and unloading action. So what I would recommend you do if you're doing GTFO is pick the job information first, and then click on the sign and then click load. So I'm gonna click on my GTFO, I'm gonna get cargo. And here we are, morning wood logging. Now then, I'm gonna be going to morning wood twice. There's a joke in there somewhere, but we'll not touch on that. But basically I'm gonna go there first of all with connexes to show that we can move them, and then I'm gonna make the video taking some wood from here too. Morning Wood, because that's what Morning Wood does. Wood. So, clicking on that and clicking load, right? Okay. Before I click confirm to start loading this job, I'm going to click on here. Ah, okay. Here's a point then that to be aware of. You can't click it through the through the truck. Okay. Although you can see it. There are things there in the way. This is gonna catch you out, no doubt, as it just did me when I didn't think about it. So when you wanna click on this, you wanna be able to come at it away from the container. Yes, I wanna load the vehicle, okay, and then confirm. Now the loader's going in GTFO, and it's also going in the truck. And if you watch, what will happen is as it loads the cargo, on comes the crate. How cool is that? Uh, I will cover a little bit about how you do the textures and things because these things come with textures, templates in the pack. But we'll do a delivery first and then we'll just go through the box and the bits that are in there. So there we go. So I'm now loaded up with food bar, fuels and freight. And I am now going to start my engine. Give it a driver mode. And we're gonna drive across the road, nice, quicker and easy jaunt. And we'll just uh, take ourselves down here. So this is really cool. You theoretically can take uh, cargo all around the grid uh, within reason of being on a continent where it's connected to another one. But if you imagine, if you have your own uh, customized uh, freight, people could pick your freight up from your hood, 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 bleh, hub, and could then take it to anywhere by train, by air, by road. It's fantastic, really. It opens up a lot of. Um, a lot of play. So I'm gonna just come to here and stop because I always crash into this thing every time. We camera. Okay. I need to get a camera. I used to have a camera hood for this kind of thing, but okay, so it's left here, so we're gonna go left. As we come out of here. Oh, looks like drivers of a cell got a thing on. There's an aside while we're driving. Uh, if you haven't already joined the Drivers of a Sale group, I suggest you check it out. Uh, if you fancy something a bit different in your vehicle experience, it's not just driving, as in on the road, it's all sorts. Every kind of transport, rail, air, whatever. They run a number of, uh, what's like, how do I explain it? I'd say adventures, actually. Um, you get a hood and you can win prizes at the end of it and you get given tasks. It's like playing a story, it's great. You should really try it out. Um, so we go right here. Oh, 
I use my mini map for those that think, gosh, he doesn't look before, he doesn't give way before putting out. Yeah, luckily I have the mini map. I can see if someone's coming or not. But you should always give way before pulling out. Look both ways. Check your mirror. Now, as we come in here, straighten her up, in she comes. You can see the snow has been falling. It's that time of year. Okay, and I'm just going to pull up along the stack here. So, just bring it along like this. Bit hilly and lumpy with the snow. Um, right. Try that. Let's see where we are. Oh dear, cameras. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. I can I can deal with that. Okay, so here we are. We've pulled up along next to the stack. Now, what we want to do is unload. Make sure you get the right one. It's always to the left. So this is the empty stack. We're going to say yes. I do want to unload. Then I'm going to click on here. Click deliver and watch the magic happen. We will now drop off Fubar's favorites to Morningwood. Drum roll, please. It's a brilliant idea. Um, okay. There you go. Oh, I hate it. It always gets in the way of the, uh, the graphics, this thing. There you go, so you can see what's going on. Um, oh, I think I stood up. That's probably not the most wise thing to do. There you go. Look at that. So basically now I have moved the food bar crates from one location and I have dropped them off at another. Now, the next person that comes along will be able to pick those up and take them somewhere else in the grid. And that's how the connect stacks work. It's brilliant. Now, inside the pack, you do get the texture because you're probably already excited to know how you can do this. So if we look inside the actual box for the Connex, uh, and you open up the instructions, here you have the customizing template. I'll just bring that up. Basically save this to your machine and use your favorite photo editing software to customize it. As you can see, these are the sides of the Connex. You can change the colors and do whatever you really want with it. These are the doors as in at the end of the you know you open at the end of the actual connex um but you can put your branding on the sides or whatever um and then you've got the door ends i'm not in t i'm hoping i'm right in saying that they're the sides i think they're the sides i'm thinking that's the other end the, the end without the doors um but as it says it explains it all here to you save the text to your computer and edit with something like photoshop your favorite editor whatever adjust it how you want the important thing it says here, though, if you are doing custom textures, don't apply to the trailer. Instead, create full permissions texture and pop it into the contents of the trailer prim before you connect it to the truck and do it that way. And it's got a built-in menu then, look. So you can apply your textures by clicking the trailer and choosing Connex 1, then pick either an Infinity for 8 colored Connex or your custom texture from the list. So do make sure you read these instructions, but it's you make your template, drop it in, follow the instructions, and then your your freight can be moving around. I mean, I don't know who Fubar Freight is, but I've just picked up Fubar's freight and I've just moved it to another destination. You know, it's logistics in motion. And the same goes with the logger, which I am going to show you in the next video. But that is transfer stacks on Connex in action. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.